Hello, as you can see around me, I've been recently evicted and the move to another apartment slightly smaller than before, but it doesn't matter because I can still record these awesome videos. Anyway, recently it came to my attention that some of my colleagues from work have been watching some of these videos and they complained about two things. First, that I they can't really hear me from about half of the video further on because as I lose focus, I start to mumble. So I'll try to be more articulate and uh, speak up a bit to fix it. And, uh, and, and the other thing they've complained about is that although they know I've got myself a pretty solid computer, uh, the games I show and introduce uh, seem uh, shitty to them when it comes to graphics. Well, uh, as for this, there's one thing that uh, I do play uh, better looking games like Skyrim, but can't really record them because the recorder can't keep up. Um, and uh, the second thing is that yeah, I play a lot of indie games, some of them look quite bad. But, um, and also they are 2D, sometimes pixelated, but I like such games, so yeah, suck it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. That's it. So anyway, when it comes to this, I think there are quite a lot of games out there that don't look very well, but uh, are indeed quite awesome when it comes to their gameplay and therefore can be easily overlooked. And uh, as uh, for for once, I want to show you exactly such a game called Lajigan. It's a puzzle platformer. And uh, as you will see shortly, the graphics isn't really much in this game, at least from what I can see. I already beat this game, I'm just going to show you one of the extra levels. Yeah, this is it, this is all the graphics you get. Pretty much on the backgrounds. The character you control is just made of strips of color. And the lightning is quite nice how it um, how it alternates between shadow and light, so that's kind of cool. But overall, I don't like the visual style of the game. But as I already said earlier, the gameplay is quite awesome, so let's show it. I picked the, exactly this level because it features every pretty much everything you see in the normal game. The name of the game suggests you use a lot of guns, and you use they use them to confront these challenges and move. Forward. And I'm I'm going to introduce you the different kinds of guns in this game first. Yeah, I need to holster this. Yeah. So, what you got here is a platform gun. We, in which you use to create platforms which you can jump upon. And what is really nice in this game, and I think is something you only see in good games, is that you see how the jumping distance of the platform you're building, so you can already tell in advance whether you'll be able to jump on top of it, and where can you jump further. Really nice. You can, all, all, you can, as you can see, you can only create these blocks when you're standing on a solid ground, so you can go further and further to. Anyway, as for the controls, this is something I don't really like about the game, because as far as jumping and aerial control is concerned, it just doesn't feel right. It's kind of stiff, and there isn't. And really con control very well where you, where you fall and where you jump even. 
so that's a bit of a drawback of the game but it's quite forgivable really because there aren't many parts of the game where it's really relevant there aren't as far as, far as i know there aren't there aren't any platforming sections where you need exact jumping so it's really about thinking and this here is a grapple gun that you can transport around the level and you can also grab special like the lantern on the left side of the level you can only do this because the character has a an artificial skeleton so it doesn't get stretched and told, so it doesn't have, so she doesn't have it, her limbs torn and stuff like that there is the crossbow right now uh, i have um old are affected by gravity sometimes there are those and then use it to transport fire on the level as you see and also activate some switches you also have this deep kind of like hand electricity which can activate some switches too but there weren't really that much of those in the whole game this here is something you can use to attract them to sell some items so you'll, you'll see shortly I'm going to show you as I'm going to show you how to beat this level yeah what do we got here Yeah, this right here is a bomb it explodes when you hit it and what i need here is a gun and probably a grapple gun i need to get this lantern down here and yes this gas doesn't really do anything too but you can build bombs in it so but what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to activate this bomb i'll see another one come out of the dispenser I'll make explode and the lantern will come towards me. It will slide on this ice thing over here. Turn this shit down. And I'll take it. And you... The lightning went off because of the barrier. There are different kinds of barriers and I don't... Even after beating the game I don't remember which color stands for what. But... The... the you can really find out by trying it and seeing for yourself. So what I need to do now is to make this torch go on fire, transform that fire to this lantern, then transform the lantern to my lantern and burn this shit down. Do this. Yeah, I need the polarity gun yeah I better use this view yeah I'll use this thing here to switch polarity and now I'm pushing it away from me yeah I'm gonna I need a, I definitely need a crossbow so I'm gonna pick it up Anyway, um, usually in the game you only get the maximum of two weapons per level, so puzzles aren't really focused about making a use of all the different kinds of weapons in of guns in the game. Just the two which are specific for that level, except for the very last level which has all four of these guns. And, neatly stacked uh, by each other like in this level so you don't have to like chase them or all around which is nice and uh, I actually had a you had to use the guy about twice to beat that level because it was tough really use the crossbow and then um, a tractor block to make it uh, shoot through a torch and then come back at you and I couldn't find a way how to stack the block and uh, position myself so that it comes back so I I took a look at the guide and then uh, it, it here only then so anyway that's 
that's really the good, the great part of the game that the levels are quite intricately designed. I might not be able to see it very well in this exact level, but the story levels were, were very great in this. They were about like 80. So the, no, no, were the same really. It each of them featured a different concept and. Uh, had to use the guns in completely different ways than you had before and the, the it really uh, took the most out of the concepts it the game introduces if you get what I mean so yeah now I'm just going to use the platform gun and that's all for this level The music is quite nice in this game, I have to say, and the sounds overall, they are quite fitting, there's no problem really. So anyway, that's the basic principles of this game. You already also have some other things like uh, bombs you can take in hand and light in, and you have to light them on fire instead of hitting them. And there are also a lot of different kinds of blocks you can carry and attract as well. And um, what I want to show you from the random story level is um, this chick on the left, on the right actually, <laughs> because that's, that's the, all the story you get in this game. She just says pretty much the same stuff in every level, like she pretty much threatens you. And uh, even when it comes to the end, I was expecting for something to happen because the whole story is a huge build up to the ending and um, well, I don't want to spoil anything but let's just say it's disappointing you don't really expect what's going to happen in the end and not in a good way so there as for this where as for the story there uh, there's uh, like little strips of lore here which unlock the further you get and they show you a little bit about um, things in the levels like lasers there are also some puzzles about light and having it shine somewhere but I don't know I don't I don't really have a good feeling about and I think this is one of the games which would be better without any so yeah that's all from the game and uh, just to sum it up um, the graphics not so good at least not as I see it the story mm -hmm. controls that controls are quite tolerable, it's quite a shame that you can't really much control it with the gamepad because you need the precision of a mouse. And also the aerial control, as I said, is very well. Gameplay is one of the best in this kind of the games. So yeah, the, my recommendation for the game's creator is that uh, is to get an artist along uh, himself as a game as a level designer because this game really has a potential to be one of the best of the genre because if it had uh, the atmosphere and graphics as one of the other titles such as the swapper then this would really be the top title of the genre i, I mean the level design was that good in this game so that's what i say uh, at the end my final verdict if you can tolerate the graphics and um, not not so good storyline then definitely play this game it's about six hours long and you won't regret it and that's all for me now bye